Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I just finished watching the second episode of Celebrity Big Brother. My eyes, it looked like I've been crying. I have not been crying, y'all. I don't know what's going on. I think it's because I was in my room in the dark. And I came back out here, and it's bright light. I don't know. But anyways, the second episode was, that second episode was good. You know, let me just start off by saying this. And this might sound like I'm hating, but I'm not. I'm sick and tired of hearing about Ryan Lochte is an Olympic medalist. We know. We know. And I'm sick of that boy letting people know that he was in Mean Girls. We know. We get it. Okay? Shut the fuck up. We all know Ryan was in the Olympics and we all know you was in Mean Girls. Girl. I was still trying to decide if Julie looked a mess. I loved her hair. I thought she looked gorgeous. But I don't know if I like that dress. Like, at one point, I was like, I thought the dress was cute. It's like whenever they got back from commercial break and she would be standing there beside the uh, TV screen or whatever you want to call it, I'd be like, okay, this is actually kind of cute. And the, it, it just depends on the angle. I don't know. She looked all right, I guess. Um, <laughs> Dina had me cracking up. I don't know why. The, Dina say all of our legs are going to be sore in the morning. And that's one thing I know for sure. Dina, no, baby, you the oldest bitch in the house. Your leg is going to be sore in the morning. Ryan, Lolo, and the other girls, they're going to be all right. Your old ass, your leg is going to be sore in the morning. You know what? I'm going to say this much. Dina seems like a nice woman. You know who I actually like, y'all? I like Anthony Scaramucci. Is that his last name? He really, 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 really seems like a nice dude. It's sad, and I will be the first one to admit it. It's sad that when you see these people who work for the Trump administration, like, because I don't really know how somebody who's even halfway decent could work for someone like Donald Trump. But if you take away the fact that he worked for Donald Trump, he seems like a very, very nice person. Like a nice, nice person. It's weird. I don't know. So anyways, um, Ron Lochte, hold up, let me look at my notes first. Hold up. Ryan Lochte, hold up. I was going to look at my notes before, but I was like, let me go ahead and make the video. Ryan oh, okay. Ryan and um, Jonathan form an alliance. They come up with the idea that, you know, because you know, at this point, um, they have to play HOA. They have to play an HOH game. Uh, Ryan and Jonathan, they have to play. Whoever wins the game becomes HOH. Whoever loses the game, they automatically go on the block. So of course they're they're trying to form. They're trying to get the numbers together. So if either one of them go on the block, you know they'll be safe. So they come up with the idea that it's going to be Ryan. Ryan and Jonathan come up with the idea that it's going to be uh, them. Um, Candy, Tamar, Lolo, Joey, the wrestling girl. It's supposed to be seven. Did I name seven? Okay, the wrestling girl, Tamar, Candy, Lolo, Joey, yeah, Ryan, and Jonathan. So they have it. They think they have the numbers on their side. Um, Tamar tells Candy. Candy was in the uh, bathroom doing her hair. She tells Candy, Candy is cool with it, you know. Um, Lolo was going to tell Joey. <laughs> Joey looked like a small ass nigga. That nigga looked tiny. Anyways, um, Lolo and Tamar were in the uh, fitness room and they were going to tell, Lolo was going to tell Joey. Joey shot it down before Lolo could even say anything, thank God. It was so like, you know, one of those situations, you know, like those situations where you see what, like you may like somebody and then you're probably going to ask them out on the date. And then they start talking like, yeah, I'm not dating right now. Fuck these niggas. They sorry as fucking you like. And you was just about to ask them that they want to go have a drink or get some coffee or something. And now you sitting there like, Ugh, I was going to ask you that you want to go get a drink, but you just went on this whole speech about fuck these niggas. These niggas ain't shit. <laughs> That's how it felt like to me. So Lolo was like, uh, okay. Because Joey was basically like, 
he didn't really believe in alliances. Um, I, at first, I was confused because I was like, is he saying that he just doesn't like the word alliance or he doesn't believe in alliances? So I was confused about the whole thing, but basically, he didn't want to be a part. He, he's not in the alliance, basically. Um, Joey, I mean, Ryan basically, uh, you know, is excited because while he's in the house, I mean, while he's in the house, he can still train for the Olympics. Um, they have like a pool in the back. I thought it was a little bit weird that people were just like it was. It was just like a regular, like I guess, a pool that you need if you don't have the 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 necessary pool that you need to train. One of the he called it a, was it a pressure pool? I don't know. Child. I don't swim. I don't know how to swim, so I don't know. I don't know shit. I don't know no, nothing about those goddamn pools. Um, but I need to turn my TV off. But anyways, so everybody was outside watching him. I thought it was a little bit weird just for the simple fact that he was only in like a bathtub, basically. And I was just like, okay. I, at first I was like, okay, everybody, oh, Ryan is about to go swim, blah, blah, blah. And then it's like, okay, girl, I'm not going to just sit here and just watch him like in a bathtub swim. It's one thing if he, would, if he was actually like in an Olympic-sized pool and we could sit back and just watch him do his thing, you know? I thought it was weird a little bit. Um... What else? <laughs> oh, the girls were trying to form an alliance. Tamar, Candy, I don't know the wrestling girl, um, and Lolo. I thought that was cute. Um, I thought it was real cute. Uh, the wrestling girl walks in. They were already talking. And tell you how to take Tamar was like, oh, hell no. Basically trying to like change the conversation because they didn't know who was walking into the, you know, walking into the room. Um... They play the HOH game. <sighs> At, babe, when I tell you Ryan was knocking the fuck out of that wall, <laughs> girl, Ryan was knocking the hell out of that wall. Out of that wall. <sighs> I was just like, okay. Because at first, I'm not going to lie. I was just like, what does him being an Olympic swimmer have to do with this? I guess it's still in a way you have to have some type of strength to do it because, you know, I would imagine you swimming up and down a swimming pool, you know, as fast as you can. You have to be strong to do that, you know? So I'm assuming because strength, I guess it's strength, right? But at first I was just like, what does him, what does that have to do with him knocking down walls? Like, bitch, just go up there and knock the walls down too. But I guess that has something to do with, I guess if you were the, I guess if you're an athlete, then you're an athlete, bitch. Strength is strength, I guess. I don't know. But all I do know for a fact is Ryan was knocking the fuck out of that wall. He won the HOH. Jonathan almost won. Um, he came close to winning, but uh Ryan won the HOH. Um this is what I had in my notes. Candy, take that blue shit off your face. <laughs> I did not like that blue lipstick she had on her goddamn lips. Candy is a very attractive girl to me, but I just did not like that lipstick. And it almost looked like she just, it's almost like they said, okay, Candy girl, come to the, um, come to the room. And she was like, oh, girl, let me throw some lipstick on. Oh, shit. That's, that's exactly what it like she did. It ain't like she. It, it, it wasn't like she tried to do this. I don't, even, I don't know how you put on lipstick. Is that how you put on lipstick? I don't know. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. Like it, well, it wasn't like she really took her time. Baby, this is a, this is exactly what how Candy looked like she did. Candy, come to the diary room, okay? Hey y'all, girl, take this shit off your face. Um. Oh, Ryan has to make the nominations within thirty minutes. Of him winning the HOH, she has to make the nominations in 30 minutes. Girl. Okay. So, <laughs> um, you know what was so funny, y'all? 
when Ryan and uh, Jonathan were in the room talking, Tom came in, and I guess he was hanging up his jacket. Now, most people know in Big Brother that when you see people in the room talking, they're probably talking about the game. So it's kind of like one of those things where you're supposed to just walk in and be like, oh, I'm sorry, did you leave? Or you go in, get what you need to get, and then you walk out the room. Girl, Tom walked in and was like, I need to hang my jacket up. And then he stood there like, shit, what's up? Girl, they was sitting there like, okay, girl, uh, when you gonna leave, girl? We got something to talk about. Girl, so, and then Tom was like, all right, I'm about to go. It was so funny. Anyways, I'm so hot, y'all. I said I got some new lights, and I took the thing off of my, um, well, I didn't take it off, girl. I actually broke it. Let me stop lying. I broke it one night. I was high as fuck. Girl, I don't know what was in that weed. I was high as fuck, and I just happened to swing my hands in the air. And girl, I knocked my whole goddamn thing and the thing just went ploop and it just hit the ground and broke. So anyways, that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. Oh, high ass hoe. Um, but anyways, um, Candy asks Ryan, what did he plan on doing? Ryan doesn't really want to share. Candy said right in the diary room. Candy was basically like, um... If you have an alliance with someone, how do you keep secrets from that person? Which, it makes sense. If we're supposed to be in alliance, I'm supposed to know what the fuck is going on. Why are you not telling me? Why are you keeping secrets? That's not how an alliance works. Unless, unless you don't have an alliance with me and I have one with you. You see what I'm saying? Ryan, you fuck it up. Um, Anthony, <laughs> girl... Did Anthony, Tom, and Kato make an alliance? I said the three oldest hoes in the house want to make an alliance. I said, if y'all don't sit y'all old motherfucking ass down and go get one of these young hoes in the goddamn house, you got Ryan, you got that Natalie. I think her name is Natalie. That's her name, Natalie. The wrestling girl, Natalie. I think that's her name. We're going to call her Natalie for uh, this episode. Natalie, you got Lolo. Um, Hell, Jonathan. Shit. Shit, Candy. I don't know, but girl, the three all these motherfuckers want to form an alliance. Anthony, I mean, I love Anthony Scaramucci. I'm sorry. I think I'm falling in love with him. He seems so, he seems like a really nice guy. I'm sure, girl, I was about to start going to a whole nother. I'm sure he done cheated on his wife a couple of times. That's what he give me. He do give me like he used to be in a mob back in the day. I don't know. But Anthony is so, so, sorry, y'all. Anyways, so yeah, Anthony is so, 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 so nice. Um, he's actually kind of cute in a weird type of way. I don't know. Anthony is like, I feel like Anthony will be like the person like, I don't know. He just seems like nice to me. It's so fucked up. And I know I already said that it's so fucked up that sometimes we take, especially like in today's climate with this whole Republican and Democrat and the racial climate, like... I think people have more in common than if you just take away the whole, oh, you a Democrat or a Republican or whatever you are. Anyway, I'm getting off subject. Um, Ryan tells Lolo and Tamar about who he was thinking about putting up. Candy walks into the room and she asks a valid question in the diary room. If we're supposed to be in alliance, how are you keeping secrets? But then on top of that, like, I just asked your ass about who you were putting up and you didn't want to tell me. Then you turn around and then you tell Tamar and you tell Lola, hold up. Hold up, y'all. You turn around and you tell um, Lolo and you tell Tamar. Like, nigga, it, it's one thing if I ask you and then two days later I see you talking to somebody else and you made a decision. But you literally only had 30 minutes to come up with you know, who you were putting on the block. So what changed from the few minutes ago when I asked you up until now? See, Ryan, you fucking up. And, then, you know, I think Candy, Candy is a businesswoman, so Candy probably got more sense about what's going on in this game than I want to, than we probably want to give her credit. Uh, well, that a businesswoman don't have nothing to do with Big Brother, honey. Um, but I think Candy knows more about the game than what she's probably led them on to believe. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
Anyways, so it comes down to the, the nomination. At this point, um, oh, I forgot this point, y'all. They have to nominate. He has to nominate two other people besides Jonathan. So it's going to be three people on the block. So they're thinking that it's going to be Jonathan, of course, because he lost the competition. And then they were, think, they, they were thinking that it was going to be Dina and Anthony. That's what they thought. But Jonathan, who has a relationship with, with uh, Dina, um, really didn't want Dina to go on the block. So he basically, basically convinced Ryan to put Tom on the block. But nobody knew that Tom was going to go out on the block. They just, they thought it was going to be Dina and Anthony. So at the meeting, at the uh, HOH, um, what is it called? I forgot what it's called. Uh, now, you know, you the whatever it's called, I can't remember what it's called right now. So they were all basically surprised, like, hold on, why is Tom on the block? I thought it was going to be Dina and Anthony. And Tamar basically says in the diary room, like, it was probably Jonathan who convinced him not to put Dina on the block because, you know, Dina and Jonathan are cool. Ryan, you fucking up. You are fucking up. You fucking up. Um, you not doing this right. The last thing you want to do is go against your alliance. You know what I'm saying? Because the truth of the matter is, if all them hosts flip, it's more people that will be against. You see what I'm saying? Like, you, you basically throwing, you basically throwing everybody off in your group to the side. Like, they don't know what's going on. The only people that, that, that know what's going on was you and Jonathan. So what you're about to do is make you and Jonathan the outcast of your alliance and them other bitches going to come for y'all. So, Ryan, you better be careful, girl. Jonathan's going to get y'all ass caught up. True C. Um, what else? That was pretty much it. I'm about to watch episode... No, I'm not. I'm not about to watch episode three. I'm about to go to Happy Hour. I'm about to give me something to eat. And then I'm going to come back and then I'm going to watch episode three. And then I'm going to make the video. So, yeah. I'm going to do these reviews. I told you it might be late. But, bitch, I'm going to do them, though. So, yeah. Episode 2 was good. The drama is starting already. Bitches is already calling shit out. Everybody is confused. Ryan, you about to go home. Because they're going to look at you as though you being shady as fuck. Which you low-key really are. You don't want to tell Candy what's going on. You taking advice from Jonathan to save Dina with her old ass. You know what I'm saying? Like... You not letting your you not you are not letting your alliance know what's going on, and that's the last thing you want to do. Especially when the truth of the matter is you don't have the numbers. Because if they think that you and Jonathan are working together, which y'all are, but if they find if they even think that y'all are working together, what you think they gonna do? Candy already onto your shit. Tamar already onto your shit. Lolo already onto your shit. Like girl. Anyway, so yeah, that's all I got to say. I ain't got no more. Bye, y'all.